Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Dreamfall Chapters, where I think we're quite possibly close to the end as we depart. Um, I don't know where I'm meant to go, though. Did it say? No, no goals, no objectives. We're just going to maybe head towards the center? Maybe that's going to give us somewhere to go. Their war isn't over yet. And there's much to do before Mercuria is truly at peace. But they deserve respite. Hooray! Respite! Let's come in here. There's some armor there. Okay, so there's only Shepherd around. Is there not even Enu? No. That head wasn't there before. Memorial for... I'm more of a hummy. Hummy. So many fallen. If I hadn't gone. But then we wouldn't know the truth. I wouldn't know the truth. And we probably would have lost this war. Um. The dead will be remembered by the living. And their souls will find a home in the light. Goddess, embrace them all. Bob who can see. Bob who can see. I'd say rest well, but I know that whatever awaited you on the other side, you didn't sit still for long. Whichever deity rules your afterlife is probably tearing their hair out. <laughs> the general lived a long life, filled with both triumphs and regret. But he ended it his way, standing tall and proud, and foul-mouthed. Liko. You were a good man, Liko. And you died an honorable death, protecting someone you cared greatly for. This is how we will remember you. I'll miss him. Despite all of our differences. Maybe even because of them. Liko forced me to confront a past I've tried to forget. And I'm grateful for that. I just wish I'd been able to... to tell him. Okay. Shepard. I'm not good at farewells. It won't be forever, Shepard. Perhaps not, but uh, I must follow the herd before they're forever lost to me. I hear their songs every night. I can still pick up their scent on the morning winds, but it's getting fainter by the day, and they are farther and farther away from me. If we meet again, it will be when the herd returns to the Northlands. The world is changing, and there may not be room for us here anymore. If not in this life, then in the next. We will walk the green slopes of the first mountain together, and speak of other things than war. We will. I wish you were staying, Kian. But I understand that you must go. Our war isn't yet over. And neither is the restoration, but I can't stay, Kian. I know I should, but I can't. I miss my own. And I was never... This life was never for me. I'm not a warrior. But there was no one else. Enu will step up in your absence. It's time. It is. She will do fine. I'll ask the goddess to watch over her. I thought you'd lost your faith, Kian. In those who claim to speak for the goddess, yes. But my faith in her is stronger than ever. She guided us all to where we needed to be. And now she is guiding you to Sadir? I believe we have the light on our side, Shepard. And that our enemies walk with the shadow. False prophets. And those who follow them, there will be a reckoning. Will you return with the entire Azadi army? There will still be unrest for a while. Half the troops will stay behind to help with the restoration. The rest will join me. The six were deceived by the Prophet and Utana, and their so-called masked council. Even without the Prophet, Utana still pulls the strings in Azadir. I'm not sure we can avoid civil war. The Mother won't relinquish her power easily. It will be an uphill battle. Mm. Then the sooner you can get there, the better. I'm bringing Naane. She asked to join me. She wanted to repay a favor. 
I hope you'll forgive me for not asking you first. First Liko? Now Naane. She can do more good in Azadir than she can here in Mercuria. And we have Enu. It will do. Have you seen Elena? Anna? After last night... She left. I think she needs some time away. But you'll see her again. I don't think she can stay away from you for very long, now that she's found you again. So... Farewell then, Kian. Until next time. And thank you. For everything. I should be the one thanking you, Shepard. For giving me a second chance. That was all you. Keep Liko alive in your heart. Bring his song back with you. To his homeland. To yours. I promise. I was just thinking, like, are our impacts gonna have, like, are they gonna have a little conclusion thing? And say all, our, all the decisions we've had. Leave. This war isn't over. I know, but don't leave. We can't fix things here without you. And without Liko, I mean, who will help us make the right decisions and deal with the Azadi and secure peace between humans and magicals and... You will. I... Wait, what? Me? How? What? You're the strongest and bravest person I know. I don't... But... No, you see, I... I haven't... Huh? The others trust you and admire you. They'll listen to you. You've proved yourself. Okay, now you're going to make me cry. That's not fair. You'll be fine, Enu. Oh, okay, here we go. Floodgates wide open. Goodbye, Enu. I love you. I mean, in a friendly way. I mean... Oh, screw it. <sighs> Goodbye, Kian Albane. Prophet, general, whatever else you're going to accomplish with your life, and I'm sure you will accomplish a lot. Good luck with with everything. Go save your nation. <sighs> okay, okay, all right. We have so much work to do. I thought you'd gone. What? Hey. Who are you? Where do you come from? The Aether. I followed the song lines here. I walk between worlds. I'm Saga. Saga. Thank you for saving my life, Saga. Hmm. I guess you could say it's fate that I ended up where I was supposed to oh, end up. Oh, what? What? Not due to any actions on my part, but because the universe decided. What? So I'm what? So I'm now playing a saga. What's going on? The choices I've made led me down this path to Kian Alvane at just the right time. Every action played a small part in saving his life. I guess you could say it's fate that I ended up where I was supposed to end up. Can Not due to any true? actions on my part. Fate? Choices? I don't know. It might have played out differently, if not for a whole lot of coincidences along the way. Can't all three of these be true? I mean, I know that they're each claiming exclusivity in a sense, but if you think about it logically, the little coincidences, surely isn't that fate? And yet, you have also made decisions to bring you into those positions where the coincidences have an impact. All three of these are technically true. I think we'll go with the paths, though. The choice. You're welcome. Without you, I wouldn't be here today. The resistance would have failed. Perhaps. Anyway. Thanks for saving the world, then. I think our friend Zoe deserves much of the credit for that. I hope she pulled through. I'm sure she did. If not, I would know. We all would. She's... Important? Oh, yes. How did you know to be in the right place at the right time? Does it matter? Okay, now I'm switching between them in a single conversation. Which is... 
I'm not sure I like that. I think I liked it in Dreamfall, where you were playing one character with a conversation, and then after the conversation, it switched around. But this kind of jumping back and forth, I don't know. I mean, admittedly, it's only happened, like, back and forth. Who is this woman? Her secrecy and lack of respect is frustrating. Does it matter? Whatever the reason, maybe I don't want to know. Who does it matter? Of course it matters. You showed up with the medicine I needed. Did anyone send you- It'll take a while to explain. We can cover it on the road to Sadir. Sadir? Capital of the Azadi Empire, <laughs> situated where the six rivers meet Stop the- Stop playing games, woman. I'm coming with you. Uh, I- What? Why? Because that's how the story goes. It's been written, and we can't change that now. We have a war to win. And then, in another decade or so, there's going to be an even bigger war. You'll definitely need me for that one. Us. You'll need us. It's been foretold, Bloodless King. For thousands of years. Seriously, I promise I'll cover all of it when we have some quality time to ourselves. Oh, and... And one last thing. You may not like this one. Yet. You're going to... Uh... To adopt me. Adopt... What? Why? I'll need a name. In Azadir. A surname. Otherwise I won't be useful to you. No one listens to a nameless person. Have maybe. you played Planescape Torment? It's not like we can just get married. So you adopt me and bring me into your family. And I take your name and become a princess. And become Lady so Alvani. Alvani. I like the sound of that. I've never had a surname. We didn't need one. What are you talking about? Again, I'll explain soon as we leave. And we should leave soon. Because Sadir needs you. I... Got it. Yes. Yes. To Sadir. But unless you explain everything, everything, I'll toss you overboard before we're halfway there. Understood? I can live with that. Good. Adopt. Mm-hmm. Also, how did you get here? How did you know I was in the Enclave? What was that portal? Can you open portals anywhere? Why not Everything. just... Everything. I pinky promise. <sighs> Light save me. So that's how they're getting around the fact that it should be Lady Alvani. I don't know why you couldn't just keep April alive in the la at the end of the last game. And then have it be, ooh, she changed her name or whatever. I don't know why it annoys me so much, but it does. <gasps> You're alive! I was actually worried you might not be. Yay. Good morning, sunshine. Oh no, not again. I promise you, it's for real this time. Do you need anything? Do you need water, um, the curtains closed, or...? No, it's okay. The sun, it's good. The doctor said you'd be waking up. I, I wanted to be here when you did, to... Well, to explain. Did we win? We're still here. The bad guys are gone, so I guess we did. What happened at the end? There was a, a bright light, voices and nothing. Darkness and then, well, this. I don't know. That, that thing that came through, it wasn't, it wasn't human. It tossed me aside like I was nothing. I'm lucky I wasn't killed. I tried to get back on my feet, but then there was a blinding flash of light. And when it faded, it only took a second or two, and then there was just you. No one else. I thought you were dead. And Helena? Gone. Perhaps that thing... Anyway, she won't be back. If she survived, she'll stay away. There's too many people want her locked up. Or dead. Whatycorp? Are they still after me? Oh no, they've got enough problems on their hands. Your friend Sully broke the story. They've been linked to the suicide bombing in Propast, to political payoffs, to corruption, and their plans for the Dream Machine were exposed. No one's going to want to log back in anytime soon. The Syndicate's under pressure from the other corporations because of their relationship with Wati. 
The Eye is under investigation too. They've pulled their operatives from Europolis. That article made shockwaves. Sully sounded really happy when he called. He'll be even happier when he hears you're awake. Watty Corp will probably survive. The Dream Machine will not. And without that, they couldn't care less about you. About us. That's good. And... And Reza... Is he... When Ein Garner was destroyed, Dreamnet shut down. Watty could no longer control him. He's okay. Confused, but okay. What? I called him this morning. He's on his way down. Oh. Okay. Control. Uh, how are they controlling him? What, like, what was that what a thing? What are doing in Mumbai with... With that woman? I didn't know any other way. Unless I cooperated, what he was going to was going to take you away. Helena convinced them to let us bring you to the lab. They believed we were working on improving Dreamnet, while Helena was secretly working on our... on her project. Altering reality. How? Use entangled particles to affect the quantum state of dream time in order to reshape the physical universe. Change dreams, change reality. Helena spent 30 years on this project. We were partners. But it was always her project, her theories. I'm not sure I ever believed it would actually work, but she was determined, and I... You made me. We did. I don't know if you'll ever forgive me for not telling you the truth, but you began life as an experiment. Our goal was to create an individual capable of existing in both realities, the physical and the dreaming. Someone who could change the world with a single thought. With dreams. But it didn't work. You were... You were just a child. To your mother, you were an asset she could use and discard, but I... You were my little girl. That's why I left. You were only two years old. Helena had given up on you. In exchange for my share of Jeeva, she let me take you away. I thought it was over. I didn't know she'd come back for you. <sighs> There's too much to process right now. I, c I can't. I'll need time. And I'll need the whole story, from beginning to end, all the way back. Of course. I'm really sorry, Zoe. I let you down again. Dad. Uh Stop. You did what you had to do to save me. I still need to understand exactly what happened, but I don't blame you. Where are we? Still in Jeeva's Mumbai lab? No, no. no this is the real deal. We're back home. Back in Casablanca. Okay. Good. I want to stay. In the hospital? I want to go home. To our house. I miss home. I miss you, Dad. I've missed you too. Of course you can come home, sweetheart. But I'll be asking tons of questions, and I expect honest answers. No more protecting me from the truth, okay? Okay. Right now, though, I just want to... to sit here and watch the sunlight. I'm sick of sleeping. Sick of dreaming. I want to be awake. Who was that? Was that... I mean... That wasn't Reza, was it? That wasn't... I don't know who that was. I'm really confused. Five years later. Ooh.
still got her headphones, I see. Oh, I thought something was actually going to happen. That seemed like a bit of a waste to have five years later and then... It was just people standing next to each other and, and, a, and a little tiny crow. Tried to get out of here for years No longer know what I'm doing Well, I just disappeared I'm getting scared And my heart starts pounding I try to scream, but there's no sound Why do I get the feeling that none of my choices have played into this conclusion? I mean... <sighs> I mean, admittedly, it's partially because there's not been the flashing thing up in the corner saying, Ooh, here is a choice and it's had an impact. It's like... I don't get that feeling in that conclusion. 